Good day. Welcome back to our class in chemistry. Today, I will be discussing about the factors that affect the solubility of solute. Solute can have different solubilities in different solvents. By solubility, we mean the capacity of a substance to be dissolved in a solvent, or it is the capacity of the amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given amount of solvent at a specific temperature. The factors that affect the solubility of the solute are the following. Number one, the nature of the solute and solvent. The solubility of the solute in a solvent is based on the principle like dissolves like which pertains to the similarity in the polarity of the substances. Under this nature of solute and solvent, we have also three. Letter A, we have the ionic and the polar solute are soluble in polar solvents, while the nonpolar solutes are also soluble in nonpolar solvents. For example, the sodium chloride is an ionic compound. The sugar or the sucrose is a polar compound. These two, sugar and the salt, are soluble in the polar solvents such as water. An example for a nonpolar solute dissolved in a nonpolar solvent is, for example, the fat. The fat is a nonpolar substance and this is soluble in the carbon tetrachloride, which is also a nonpolar solvent. Another factor to consider under the nature of solute and solvent is the particle size. When the solute is smaller in size or finer in size, these finer particles are more soluble in the solvent. Why? It is because the finer the particles, the greater the surface area is exposed to the solvent. So, the solvent can readily dissolve this solute. Another is the steering of the solution. Why? Because as you steer the solution, you allow the solvent to move around the solute, allowing the fresh solvent to come in contact with the solute. So, the solute can easily be dissolved. I think you have observed this when you steer the sugar in the water. Another factor that affects the rate of solubility is the temperature. As the temperature increases, the solubility of the solute increases. Why? Because as the temperature increases, raises the kinetic energy of the solution to effectively break up the solute particles which are held together by intermolecular forces of attraction. However, there are those substances wherein the solubility decreases as the temperature increases. For example, the protein. When we are going to heat more the protein containing substance like the meat, this will not tenderize easily because the protein coagulates as the temperature increases. And also in the case of gases, there is an inverse effect of the solubility of the gas in the solution. Why? Because as the kinetic energy is increased due to high temperature, it enhances the motion of the gas particles in the solution and it enhances also the breaking of the intermolecular forces of attraction between the gas particles and the solvent, thus releasing 
the gas from the solution out. So there is no more solubility of the gas that occurs in the liquid because the gas has escaped out. The third factor to consider in the solubility of a solute is the pressure. Pressure has an appreciable effect on the solubility of gas in a liquid, not on the solubility of solid in the solvent. According to William Henry, the solubility of the gas in the liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas above the liquid. This is in fact known as the Henry's Law. For example, the carbonated drinks. In a carbonated drink, the gas there is the carbon dioxide that is dissolved in the liquid. If the container remains to be closed, the carbon dioxide remains dissolved in the liquid. But when the container is open, the pressure is released and the solubility of the gas decreases. Why? Because the gas is removed out or it escapes out. So this is what is meant by the solubility of the gas is directly proportional to the partial pressure of this gas above the liquid. So those are the factors affecting the solubility of the solute. For your assignment next meeting, I want you to read about the collective properties of solution. So those are all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.